Dr. Fifth. It had been a very long day, but five minutes in the zero room would settle the doctor right. That's just what the doctor ordered, announced the doctor when he awoke. Although, I do feel a bit peckish. I fancy a snack. We're all out of food, said Nyssa, looking in the fridge. Not a sausage. We'd better pop down to earth and restock, said the doctor. The doctor let Adric take the TARDIS controls, and they landed in the car park of a supermarket. Well, that's not the cleverest bit of parking I've ever seen, commented Tegan. At least I'm allowed to fly the TARDIS, said Adric, bristling. Now, now, said the doctor. No bickering, please. They all walked into the supermarket where the doctor had the strangest feeling. He could have sworn he had seen the little old lady pushing a shopping trolley before. There was something very familiar about her. Maybe it was the beard. However, the doctor was quickly distracted by the thought of what to eat. They wandered from aisle to aisle. They peered down the canned goods aisle. We're not going down there, declared the doctor. That's the sort of canned good I would like to avoid. How about a pizza? suggested Nyssa. Perfect, agreed the doctor. Adric rushed ahead to the freezer section to have a look. Can you help me? asked the little old lady when he got there. Adric happily opened the freezer door for her. Where's Adric got to? We should stick together, complained Tegan. I have discovered, living with the doctor, that going off on your own only leads to trouble. And sure enough, when they got to the freezer section, Adric was in trouble. He was trapped in a freezer. I knew it, cried Tegan. Quick, let's get him out, said the doctor. But as they opened the door, the little old lady rushed at them from behind and knocked them into the freezer with her trolley. They were all trapped. Well, I think we can safely say that this is all Adric's fault said Tegan. Adric glowered at her. Or at least, he tried to, but his face was frozen. "'Fooled you!' cried a voice from outside the freezer. It was the master, gleefully waving a little old lady's wig and dress. "'Welcome to my trap!' "'I knew I recognized you from somewhere!' exclaimed the doctor. "'Doctor, I'm cold!' stuttered Nyssa. "'Braveheart, Nyssa!' said the doctor, pulling out his sonic screwdriver. "'Let me guess, a sonic screwdriver to the rescue!' What a surprise, mocked Tegan. Stand back, cried the doctor. Earlier said than done in a freezer, muttered Tegan. Then the doctor blasted the freezer door off its hinges. They leaped from the freezer to discover all the shelves in the supermarket had been moved around. The master has rearranged the store, cried Nyssa, and she was right. The master had created an impossible maze. It's my trap within a trap, laughed the master. You'll never find your way out. What we need, said the doctor, is a bag of frozen peas. Frozen peas? questioned Adric. What a ridiculous suggestion. But he was wrong, because as they explored the maze, the doctor left a trail of peas, so they knew where they had been, and were able to find a way out. Go to the TARDIS, cried the doctor as they escaped from the supermarket, but the TARDIS was nowhere to be seen. The pickup truck had driven away. They ran around the car park, searching for sign of it. There! cried Nyssa suddenly, and there was the TARDIS emerging from a car wash on the back of the pickup truck. Once they had got the TARDIS back from the truck driver and were safely aboard, the doctor retired to the zero room for a much-needed rest. It had been a long day. Five minutes later, he appeared refreshed and restored. Just what the doctor ordered, he said, although I do feel rather peckish.